Hello everyone, welcome back and in this video we will learn a very famous tool for open source intelligent gathering. So let's get started. Okay, so what is open source intelligence? So over here, if you can see on this website, it's an act of gathering and analyzing public available data for intelligence purpose. So over here, you can see that open source intelligence information. You can go over to this website and you can have a look. Use this information under correct permission, right? So let's go and start it. For Multigo, we need to install it first. I have already installed. And before that, you need to update your repository. So I'll do apt apt dash cat the whole command and let's see that if it required any update so it doesn't require any update so exit exit again and over here if you go to the applications in information gathering you can see that multigo is over here uh, right now I have already installed it but for you guys it can say multigo and within the bracket it says installer so you need to install it first give it a time before that update your repository just like I did and uh, then you are good to go or you can go over to this nine dots and search for multigo there you go and click on it the application will take time to load as I have so many modules which are called transformation so just give it some time once it's load you can see its home screen this is the home screen here you can see about the software services multigo is basically not uh, a free service you can use it free but uh, the transformation are limited i have already registered to the service for you guys you need to register it and you need to verify your email address and then you are good to go for these services you can see some uh, transformation sales data subscription Likewise, and uh, I have installed all of them, but uh, some required APIs. For example, if you click on all services over here, these are the all one. And if you click on free with API keys for some APIs, you need to pay for their services. You can browse to your website. These are with the free APIs. You can install the APIs and you can have their services. So I'll keep it uh, unchecked. And to get the information of someone like uh, some person, all you have to do is click on this new page. Here you can see it says a new graph so this is graph number one and uh, over here you can search for person like we are interested in gathering information of a person itself you can see the person and the representation of any person so drag it to your graph over here and over you can see the default name which is john doe over here you can see the default uh, name which is john john doe so need to change the name double click on on the detail view over here and click on something like uh, let's say search for the famous mark zuckerberg all right so you need to mention your full name click ok and here the name is and then you have to right click and you can you have to select individual transform or you can run all at once these are the one which i have already installed you may say two or three which are by installed by default so click on this uh, or some of the email for information are with the limitations so i will click ok uh, ok dismiss dismiss all dismiss dismiss yes oh so over here you can see the graph preview where you are browsing and these are the information which are gathered so right now if you go to one of the information like it has ga uh, gathered some information regarding the email and where the information for Mark Zuckerberg is if you click on open in here you can see this is the information this is the correct information there are several companies also so there's lots of information you can gather based on but you need to dig it out the one which is required you can keep it and you can delete the node which is not required likewise you can delete it over here is the selected one yes yeah this is an article view the documentation on the cloud which marks the cover paperwork remarks even you can dive into some of the information which are documented by himself okay let's search for some other person 
like a new graph click on new graph again person and drag it to the graph double click the name I'll mention my name over here right click and click on transform give some time for oh, scanning it's still scanning and here you can see yeah uh, so records are found so let's see that if it finds something which is related to me like I mentioned my first name and the last name that I can see that most of the information is not related to my name or what I can say that I think I am I'm limited to the free versions so the time when I installed I can dig down to my Instagram account my Facebook account but so that quota is over now so that's the reason that uh, there's a limitations all I can say that you can use this tool uh, as a free and give it a try or you can buy this uh, from their website when you register it it will ask you to buy so you can do that uh, uh, as if you like there are other tools uh, which I'll mention in my other videos but this one got the graphic representation and even you can search for a company itself or a cryptocurrency owner anything which you can you can ask for is over here it's a good tool and uh, basically it's graphical representative so it's easy for the novice user so i would advise that uh, use this tool and uh, use the free version as long as you have and give it a go and try to search yourself first as you are authorized to search uh, you only so that is basically the multi go free version for you so that was a wrap if you like my videos give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications of my future videos i have a gaming channel do check and subscribe to it if you are interested the link is in the description thank you and bye bye